Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be working in my budget planner. We're gonna be actually doing 2023 of December. So we're gonna be pretty much setting that up. I've already done a little bit of kind of like legwork in it. So I have to plug in some numbers and plug in some different things. So we will make it work. But first, before we get into that guys, if you have not already clicked on that subscribe button, please make sure to click on the subscribe button and then also on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any videos guys because I would love to have you here. And y'all, because we just love budgeting. That's what it is, right? We just love budgeting. <laughs> All right, so that is pretty much what we're gonna do. So if you need to get your budget done for December, 2023, pull it out and let's get started. So like I said, we're gonna be doing a setup and um, I had some questions about what am I gonna do with the rest of the space that's in my budget planner that I didn't use. I am gonna keep on using this and I am gonna use it once the year um, rolls in. I'm just gonna keep on, I'm just gonna flip over to January cause you don't really need to waste it. Or if I wanted to, I can actually just rotate these pages to the front and then kind of work it out there. But it doesn't bother me the way that it is. So I'm just gonna leave it that way. And that's how we're gonna actually play that. Now we're going to our December section, as I said, and I've already got my months already pretty much, um, well, not my months, my dates already pretty much wrote down. And then an update on the budget planners for the pre-orders, they are being produced and they are being produced in the USA. So like I said, it um, ships in the state. Um, so they should be to me by the end of this week or the beginning of next week and then the wallets are actually already on their way to me too so i have the black i have the mint and then i have the pink and they should be on their way to me now i know a lot of you guys had asked me about the a6 so i am pretty much working on that so trying to do a little bit at a time so i won't get confused okay y'all know how that is sometimes it does get a little bit confusing all right so like I was saying, this is my monthly outlook and what I do for my budget planner, like you don't have to do that. Some people use highlighters, but I like to use stickers for my budget planning and that's how I actually do it. Now I've already pretty much kind of like did my workout for my monthly bill tracker and some of these I can actually pretty much mark off because I'm a little bit, like I said, this budgeting stuff is not always perfect. So like I said, you're not gonna be able to do everything on time, like when you need to do like your budget month outlook, but try, just try to make sure you pay your bills on time. But like some some trackers, you're not gonna be able to get done all the way, but it's, it's okay. All right, so we are actually on the, um, we're on the daycare. I've already paid that. So I'm gonna actually do, I paid that on the first. So that is actually $85. All right, so that is paid. And then what else do we got here? Oh, and then the property taxes, which was due on the fifth because I did take that money out of my 52 week savings challenge. So that was actually paid on the, what was it, the fourth? All right, so I did take that money and pay that. And then I'm gonna use the rest of that money to pay for Christmas stuff. And I should have some cash left over. So we're gonna do 236.57. All right, so this was basically due, I did not do a good job of saving, to be honest with you guys. But next um, year, I'm actually gonna use my, I don't think I have one with me. I'm gonna actually do my tracker for my property car taxes. Those of you guys that have um, used it and got that um, a long time ago know what those are. So I'm actually going to be using that going forward. And then I know I do have, um, an Amazon bill coming up. So I kind of wrote some things down, some notes here to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm going to actually be using my Prime membership um, card here so that um, it comes out February. So I might not beat it by February, but I'm going to try to beat it by February because I think it's like $150. But like I said, I'm like working on now the things that I'm going to actually do for 2024. So let's go back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop this out so I can use this as like my little cheat sheet for putting my stickers on my budget book. Now, like I said, you don't have to use stickers. Some people like stickers, some people don't like stickers, but um, I didn't put those back in there. We will use these in a little bit. I like to use stickers because I just like fun stuff. Um, let's do, let's do this. So we're gonna do those. I'm gonna use, I'm trying to figure out which Netflix one I should use. 
Oh, here are my coffee trackers. This right here I use to track my eating out and coffee. We got mini payday stickers. And let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I got my nail stickers too. For when I get my nail, I need to do this because I need to put these in my regular planner. So I need to put that to the side. Because that also is an expense to keep tracking of when you get your nails done. Okay, all right, so we're just gonna use these little Netflix stickers and I can just do that around there. We'll just do that. All right, so we have, let's go ahead and let's just track our, um, let's do our paydays. I thought I had a small, oh, here we go. So we're gonna, act, I'm gonna see if I got some tweezers. All right, so I don't normally be using tweezers, so hopefully I know <laughs> I can use them correctly. So, oh, look, look at this, y'all. Ah, oh, look at the tweezers. Okay, so Friday we get paid on the 8th. Oh, that's perfect. Right. And then we get paid on the, oh, 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 oh. Let's do this, okay. So skip a week and then this is there. Okay, so those are paydays, so the 8th and the, oh, not the 23rd. We are not doing the 23rd here. Let me get one of my little, I did grab a bunch. I started getting these instead of going in the store. I started getting them from Amazon because you get like a pack of five. So I just started doing that. It's like so much more convenient. Okay. All right, let's just put those there. All right, so we got the first. We have, we have bill due. So we're gonna do, ooh, I might just have to lay these down because my wrist ain't set up to. <laughs> okay, so the first we have daycare, that's $85. And what I do for this, I just like to do this is like when I check for the week, but this is like a real time tracker where I could, as you can see, I have spots here, which I have to figure out which one is what. So um, we will fill in these here when I get to the sheet. But right now we're just filling out the budget planner. I do not need this for these little stickers. Okay, so we got the fourth, oh, the Friday we have daycare. And then the fourth we have Wells credit card. And that is $79. All right, and then I've already done the daycare, so we already did that. All right, so next is what a bill, which is the six. That came pretty early this time, but it's super cheap. It's only like 30. It's only like $38.54, so that's not bad. Okay. All right, so next we have after school, which is, after school, which is, I keep, I want to put daycare, but it's not daycare, it's actually after school. So we're gonna put that there. And like I said, you can, um, I put daycare, I'm gonna put after school. And like I said, a lot of people, they actually do this with, what am I trying to write? actually do it with highlighters which is not bad after school so then we have Brinks which is the 12 so we're going to use an orange one I need to turn my book around like this a little bit so we have Brinks and that is 4035 all right so next we have Netflix which is and I'm just going to actually use a Netflix sticker because I think it's cute. All right, Netflix is the 14th, and we're just gonna do the amount beside it. So it's 15.49. We're just gonna do that. And then we got Geico, which is the 15th. So let's go back to this blue. And Geico was one. We can look at our old, because Geico is it's just the same. All right, so Geico. Oh, I didn't check these boxes because I did pay those. Okay, so Geico last month was one sixty-two sixty-one, so it should be the same. All right, one sixty-two sixty-one. So one sixty-two sixty-one. All right, and then we have after school. All right, so after school. 
which is $85. So then we have AEP. AEP was actually $197. We got Christmas lights up and stuff. So yeah. Okay. And then plus it's starting to get colder. So, but I'll still take it. So we got AEP, which is $197. And then we have my Discover was $120. I think it's 123. All right, so did I do, oh look, I did this wrong. Look at this, we did this wrong. So let's just take this up. All right, we gotta do, I forgot I did, it's supposed to do credit card. These come up pretty easy, so let's do, I'm gonna do a purple, oh yeah, let's do purple. Let me do that. I thought about it when I did the Discover card. Okay, so we got Wells card, so $79. We can throw this away. All right, so next we have, I was doing Discover, right? All right, Discover is the 22nd, so we're going to do credit card, and we're going to put it here. So Discover, and that's 123 and then we have... Um, I missed it here. So we have daycare. So that's the 22nd after school. I keep saying daycare. Y'all stop me. <laughs> All right. So after school, that's $85. Okay. So then the grand is actually, that was only $79 due, but I always pay a hundred and extra on there. All right. So grand's was the 20th. I think I skipped that one. I'm going to do card for that one. All right, so 20th. All right, so grand, so we got $79. All right, and then we got Xfinity, which is $75. So that is like a regular bill. And Xfinity is on the 25th. And I actually had to go get a, one of those um, pod extenders because the house is bigger. So. The internet was like breaking up because you guys remember when you were like, well, I think my little counter is going off. You remember when you guys were like, I can't really see you because your um your connection on my live. So it was because we're downstairs in the basement, um, the second floor. So it was stopping. So hopefully when I do my lives, I want to do one tomorrow um, that it doesn't freeze and pause up like it, like it was. All right. So let's do, oh, let's do a yellow one. We haven't done a yellow one yet. So we got 29th after school. All right, so after school, and I didn't do, so 85, yeah, this, I'm telling you, like when I said like with the house stuff and everything that I had going on, it like, I didn't keep up with a lot of stuff, but I made do. And some stuff I was kind of like, what were you thinking? But um, yeah. All right, so property taxes, but thank goodness that I did have savings challenges because that did help, especially like with this too. All right, um, let's see. All right, so that's all we have there. All right, and then cash stuffing, I'm actually gonna try to do that on, what day should I try to do that on? I'm gonna try to do it on this day and that day. And then also like, cause I do tracking too for my, um, I do it with my no spin stickers and I don't have that. Well, yeah, I do. My no spin stickers are pretty small so they can fit in this little spot here if I need. Okay, all right. Um, I don't think we need the cash stuff and stickers anymore. I just stick these in the Netflix one, y'all. I just stick these in any pockets that I can fit. All right, so let's move on. All right, so I'm just basically showing you guys how I pretty much set up my budget. Like I said, budgeting is, sometimes it get, it can be like, ugh, I don't wanna do it. So that's why I do mine like this to make it a little bit pretty, to make it funner, um, you know. All right, so this right here is what I do for, oops for like to track like if I go coffee or if I go like eating out fast food. So that's why I put these little coffee stickers on here. 
these are little hand-drawn stickers that I drew. <laughs> okay, so we got that. So that way I can tally up the end of the week. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done. We don't really have anything on Saturday and Sunday. Ain't that good? All right, so I'm just going to put these in here. All right, so next let's move on. So budget focus what is pretty much is to um, just to stay on track with budget. That's what my budget focus. I don't really have any notes, just that um, let's do this. We're gonna do Christmas. Christmas day. All right, so yeah, so we got Christmas day is the 25th. So we need to have all the presents done by the 25th. Okay, all right, so now we have here is, did I not put that back in there? There we go. All right, so now we have last month's win. So what I like to do is what did I do good last month? So um, last month, I did stick with my budget. Oops, better than October. Because October, I was just all over the place. And then also I paid extra on grands no spend goals um i want to pretty much do i want to i'm so nervous to do a no spend month i think trying to do a no spend month is so i'm actually a little nervous i need to try it but i am actually going to like try because i mean a no spend month would be awesome so i'm going to try to do for my calendar um let's do seven no spends because it's going to be because it's christmas month and it's gifts and all that stuff like that y'all and i did a grinch tree okay i'm gonna try to show you guys on my um i am so excited well i tried attempted to do a grinch tree and um i'll try to do it on my live or my um reel or something like that i'll show you guys okay so no spins but um exception of christmas but i do have fun um we're gonna do a section of Christmas, but I do have some funds, like I said, allocated for my 54 week savings challenge. Okay, so savings goals is the same thing. So we're gonna to try to do 200, and I know I could do more, but I don't want to make it more of a stretch for personal and then business, and then still doing um, while we're doing savings Roth IRA. So 100 directly deposit and you don't have to do a whole bunch guys if you can't max it out for the year it's fine just as long as you're contributing to something and you're making money for yourself that is like the way to go so debt we're still focusing on our grand's card and we still got the 18 month interest free and that's what we got there all right so important dates is yay christmas the 25th which is a lot of money Christmas okay so on the bottom here I always do where I do like my color coder so I'm gonna do hearts this time so we got um, car we got Aiden and this is where I do like the highlighter method we got all right Ooh. Um, let's see what we got Aiden oh, we got credit card I'm just gonna do it big here and we got home and we got entertainment all right and i think that's all because i don't have cell phone or anything like that home i think is that what i did last time yeah utilities home utilities and then what I do basically is this has got lint all on it. I'm dripping here. All right, so I just take markers and I might, what I might do is just, I got it, look at this. This is from my sweater. What I might do is just wait until I get to the sheet to do it so that way I'll have the colors that I need. And I just do this color, just do an automatic payment because um, these come out automatically um, on that day. Okay, so let's go over to our next one. So this is our paycheck budgets. So how I do this is I use my calendar. So I go by the paycheck. So we will have the payday will be the 8th. So this is covered 
by, and I need to fill those in because that was covered by what was left from our last paycheck budget. So this will be the 8th through the 15th, through the, not 15th, the 8th through the 21st because I stopped on the day before. So the 8th through the 21st. And then next, the next payday, which will be the 22nd. I got to do better with the paying myself too because, yeah. All right, so we got the 22nd through, it'll just be the 31st. And that's how that works. And then I'll do my cash envelopes. And then where I get my categories for my cash envelope stuff in is just in my um, wallet here. So that's where I get all of my, my categories there. So that's what that is. All right, so then I do have, so these are extra sheets. You get five of them in there. So I do have weekly expense tracking and that's what I actually use this for. I keep this in my bag and as you can see, I've tracked my spending and then I actually put it actually in, let's go back here. Let's see. All right. And I actually track it here. So that's how that works. I track whichever sheet. So that way I can go back and see like um, the week of the 6th to the 12th, I spent $39.81 or the week of the 1st to the 5th, I spent $83.99. All right, so how I set this up is just, I do five weeks and we can go here. So this is December start. All right, so we're just gonna, I'll just do this. And I, you can put the date up top or whatever you wanna do. So I just do one. Let's see, I'm just covering that too. Three. Right, four. Ooh, I got some wheat. I told you I got stuff written all in here. <laughs> so we're gonna tell you, we're gonna pop that out. Alright, so how I do this is I go by weekly. So I go back to my I told you I use this calendar a lot. So we got the first through the third. So that will be the first week. So the first through the third. And we'll start here. So we got first through the third. All right, the next week will be um, the fourth through the 10th. So the fourth, I'm just doing this so I can already have it pretty much down. So the fourth through the 10th, you can do December. All right, so the next will be, we'll just put that there. Right, through the 10th. So the next one will be the 11th through the 17th. All right, so the next one will be the 18th through the 24th. All right. And this here, I do keep in my purse so that I can track my expenses. I be looking back sometimes and I'll be like, that was a ridiculous purchase. <laughs> All right, so next we have the 25th through the 31st. So 25th through the 31st. All right, so this right here is my debt snowball plan here that I have. Um, I have three credit cards that I got now. I have, and then I just put my starting balance, my APR, my minimum, extra and interest. So the cards I still have as well as Discovery. I feel like I'm never going to get those done. Just being honest, but I'm going to have to pretty much focus. And then I have now the Grands Furnishing. And I do have these, my trackers back here, so my other cards. So I use those also. So these right here, I don't need to fill anything here because these are just extra sheets. If I get extra cash to do cash stuffings or to do savings challenges, and this is where I can write extra stuff. We have got through of setting my budget planner up for the month of December. So we are pretty much ready to go and hopefully you have set your budget planner up too. And like I said, these are in production, so they should be to me shortly. And um, if you have not already hopped over to my Instagram, it's called A Pink Cloth Life. And my TikTok is A Pink Cloth Life. And also, guys, thank you so much for checking out all of the things and all of your support because my website is pinkcloth.co and you guys have been so supportive. And then, like I always say, until next time, guys, peace.